Hey guys, WaifuGate here. So today we're going to be doing another episode of Epic Match of the Week. This is a series in which we take one of our best of, usually best of three matches, like that was really, really close, um, down to the wire, so to speak. And then we just sort of highlight that and um, show some gameplay off. Uh, and usually it also pairs in with a deck guide too. So this one, for example, Esper Yorian, has a deck guide for it already released. So I'll try to connect the two in the end panels here when we get there. Um, but we don't want to rush that, right? Because we got to enjoy the gameplay, kind of analyze it a little bit. Um, that's what this whole thing's about. And so let's, that summarizes like what it's about pretty much, right? So the other point is uh, the giveaway in the video. There'll be an MTGA code, uh, Magic the Gathering Arena code for an individual card reward. Uh, details on that are going to be in the description below. Um, but to give you a gist, I kind of keep a leaderboard for the codes. Right now it's Questing Beast is the best pull, and Shoal Kraken has been the worst. So if you're interested in partaking in that, um, you can drop it in the comments below if you end up winning the giveaway. Uh, this not only um, gives you a chance to get on the leaderboard if you get something good or bad, but it also lets other people know that the code has been consumed because it's a one-time use only. So that just helps everyone out. Uh, you don't have to though, it's up to you. But uh, that being said, we're going to jump into the uh, into the gameplay, and I'll see you guys in just a minute. I first started my stream, I was streaming for like an hour um, without, uh, without any like, uh, I was still hosting someone else while I was streaming. I go first, that's not a very good go first hand, this is much better. Probably just put back Guard Mage, I think. Oh, we can scry with this to guarantee the land here. I'd rather have this than this, I think, because this ramps us into Eugene and other Planeswalkers. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. What do I think of Dota so far? I mean, like, I don't actually, like, play real Dota. So back, I play Labyrinth. And it's okay. Nice loco. Yeah, I usually don't pay attention to my... Like, my win percent doesn't matter to me unless I have a thousand games. Even with a hundred games, the win rate doesn't matter. It's more or less, like, how the deck's gonna perform in the meta. Um, that's more important than the actual win rate. Not to, like, shirk your, um, your win rate or anything. Like, if you're feeling good about it, I don't mean to, like, rain down on the parade, so to speak. It's just that unless you have, like, hundreds and thousands of games, like, the win rate, like, the variance just won't catch up to it. Like, it's just not accurate. Um, I mean, I can... Mm, I could take the Narset, I guess, especially against this. It could have Eliminate, so I'm going to cash out on this. Oh, nice. That's a really good pull from Narset, actually, because that can find us whatever we need now. And now they can't Uro. <laughs> kind of cucks them a bit. Yeah, Uro. Do it. Razor. That's not Uro. That's not what I asked for. Not what I asked for, man. Why did I do this? That was an oopsies. Well, I know I at least can get a Narset here. Um, we'll grab the Elspeths, because I know I can ramp into it. <laughs> Nissa, don't you dare. No. No. They have a Gust, probably, too. So we lose our Narset here. I swung. Hmm. We are pressuring lethal, though. 
essentially. So if they have casualties, we die. But if they don't, I can bounce the Elspeth with Teferi. Uro. Okay, so they actually get to draw with this Uro, which is pretty cool. And ramp. So they we know they at least have one land in their hand. Oop. Actually, I should have I should have shocked that for the uh, for the Yorian factor. Honestly, because now I lose to Fairy. They can't row. Grasses for four. Okay, that's pretty good. Do we need a land? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but I don't think I need it. I can just plus one shatter if I want to. Right? Yeah, I should have kept the land. That was greedy. Was super greedy of me. I'm going to get the life off of this for sure. And the damage, honestly. It's not bad either. So now they can Nissa, but... So they have four cards in the graveyard. They are ramping harder than me. Like, they will win this matchup if we keep going at this rate. I need to be able to pressure them somehow. I have another Shatter, which is nice. And they know about Elspeths. Okay. But I think at this point I do have to do this. Right. What do we want? Plenty of white, plenty of black, maybe a little bit more blue or something. Probably doesn't matter too, too much. Sad that that comes into play tapped, but I understand why. This also protects us from Nyssa, which is cool. They might be holding casualties, it's possible. They probably just Shark Typhoon, no land, that's not bad. It's much better than a Shark Typhoon. Although they might just play, no, they can't play out the Shark Typhoon, because they would just lose. Eugene, okay. I mean, that's fine, they can minus three it, but then I just get to Elspeths anyway. Yeah, I mean, plus it, I'll just Elspeths you. Sure. Okay, minus three. We still have a Narset in the graveyard to get value off of this, so even if they have casualties right now, it's fine. Like, we're still okay-ish. You know? Yep, casualties, okay. Get our land back, nice. Grazer, sure. I think I just ramp here, yeah. Back Yorian. Feels good, man. What now? What now? What now, opponent? I'm gonna Uro now that his ECD is gone. Alright. Let's see it. They hit a land, so that means they either drew a land for the turn or they drew into a land right then. This 
is pretty free. Free counter spell check. That's a big mood. So they can uh, they can cross us here, and that's tough because they just get to draw like what one two three four more cards. Maybe I should have kept the thought eraser because then I could see their four cards that they're about to draw into. A little tough. Be okay though. Too, my dude. They probably have casualties again, since they've lost out. That's super obnoxious, man. But I mean, I didn't take the crisis on me. Arrow is not much of a problem, honestly. They can only do that so many times. Like, that's pretty weak. And I can just Narset. I think I Narset here. You can wait a minute. You can highlight my shit if you want to, but it's not going to make my decision any faster. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna play some lab in a minute. Yep. Absolutely. I'm gonna time wipe here. And then I'm gonna Elspeth this Nissa. And now they can't draw any extra cards from Uro or anything. This is an okay draw. Uh, what else would we rather have? Um, like Shark Typhoon, I guess. Ashiok. It's just not terrible with, like, Yorian, is the thing. Like, I guess I don't need it, though. Like, I can still do really well just doing anything else, so... But yeah, I'm gonna play some lab in, in, like, after this game, probably. After I finish up this coffee. Good job. Oops. I've been there before. It's a big mood. Yeah.
I mean, Shark Typhoon ends the game, but I like Thought Eraser here. So I can kind of check out what's going on up in that head. Another Hydroid Krasis, Extinction Event, Cultivate, Spiral. Just take Krasis. We know they don't have Eugene now. Or an answer to Eugene. Yeah, or an answer to Eugene. So. I mean, we'll take the, we'll take the Omen. That's now we just minus two this. Now they can't draw an answer either. They have to draw it off of their actual draw. And even if they, like, if they Uro, they exile their last Uro as well. What am I getting back off of this? I can get back a Prince Charming. Yeah! Get out of here, Bant Ramp. Get out. Door. That way. Actually, it's that way. But that's fine. So our set's our best card. We want this. We want Thought Distortion. Um, D Sparks are great for Nissa. Eliminates are okay for our sets and for Crass Eye and such. I don't want as many board wipes. But time wipes are better than, than the other ones. Aside from Dispute. Dispute does hurt us a bit, but that's okay. Um, Kaya can be pretty good at eating like the Euros, and we have no other way to Graveyard hate it out. Aside from like Ashiok, but that's weird. Or like besides Thought Distortions. Oaths aren't great aside from hitting like um, the occasional... Um, the occasional Dude Bros. We probably don't need the Prince, like it's kind of cute. It's a good early game play, but we can probably trim it by one. Uh, and by trimming it by one, I mean just cutting it. Um, we need maximum ECDs. Probably can trim like one Yorian, honestly, because like we need value on the field before that becomes relevant, and I don't really want to draw into this sometimes. So then it becomes like eliminate for uh, quick answer to Uro or like for Shark Typhoon token, or Narset, or whatever, so I think that this is fine too. Um, and then maybe we just cut the Oath completely. Maybe we just cut Yorian. And then hopefully we can just go with the, uh, the Big Thought Distortion play. Hopefully we can get there. And how are you doing, Dessel? And how are you doing, Strider? I don't think I gave you a shout out today. I was too focused on beating your archetype here, the land destruction. That was good. I thought I mistyped your name. That's why I said that. That's good. But yeah, I've been enjoying the PoE lap game. I've only pushed... I've gotten to the boss on Magician so far, which is like the second difficulty. Like 25 minutes ago I came in, yeah. Dude, so here's what happened, right? I skipped breakfast and I only had one cup of coffee. So you can only do one of those. You either need to have more coffee to counteract it or you need to have breakfast. Right. So that was pretty rough. This looks okay-ish, honestly. We can lead off with like black here or white, probably white. That way I can actually cast my Narset on curve. They're gonna spiral? No, they're gonna graze here. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, it's another reason why I don't like this guy right now, because this guy just blocks him all day. The so white here gets us closer to ECD. We had a land on top. Oh man, that sucks. But we're gonna do that. Just to represent like negate. So they can play another Grazer, or hold up a Dispute. No, they're not doing either. Um, so I can get Nars set down, but that's pretty weak to Nissa. I want to see that Nissa in their hand right now. Yeah. Nope, not gonna happen, buddy. Not today! Not today. Alright. Not today. Oh, 
Oof. Okay. Okay. I was actually just gonna let that decide it for itself, honestly. I just kind of rotated it until it happened. Oop. So I can have upwards of two mana here if I want it. We have enough black, we have enough white. We can just get blue here or whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. They really shouldn't be playing cards into uh, into that. I actually should have played my Skyland there too. I'm playing super loose. I know. That's pretty good. So now they can hit in our set, and then, yeah, this is pretty rough. I still get Teferi and Ashiok, though. So if I can hit a board wipe here, I'm like, okay ish. That's gonna be 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Go for 6, yeah. They left open enough mana to maybe counter. Um, plus 1 Teferi. I mean, I have to plus one Ashiok as well. Um, I can play the Guard Maid and, and draw a card. Or I can Simulacrum and ramp. I think the Guard Mage is more important, even though they have Trample, though. That's the problem, is they have Trample and they get to untap with Nissa. This can give me a chance to get an answer for Nissa, though. I think. Why am I so fucking good at this game, man? Holy shit. Holy moly. Yeah, we keep those. Exiled Casualty is nice. And we're exiling these Nissas too, they're like gone forever. You know what I'm saying? Like super gone. I can play another Guard Mage and draw, or I can ramp. I kind of like the ramp idea. It also blocks this really well. Okay, sure. We dealt with almost all the misses, man. Now, I could have shocked there to hold up some, some rats, but I'm deciding not to. So there's a Crassus again for three. That's really tough to deal with. We need a Thought Distortion. That'd be really nice. So we just minus two this. Right. 
We don't swing this in because we want to block uh, Nissa land if they happen to get their last Nissa. And life total too, if that's necessary. They can go like casualties and it's fine. Honestly, we already cashed out and got a lot of value off of that, like a pseudo board wipe. So they're going to Uro here in hopes of drawing into Anissa or something else too. They're just trying to wheel and deal. Wine and dine. Uro and chill. I don't know. Hmm. You want to scry with that, dude? Okay. Um. Can I exile this guy? Yeah, they can Shark Typhoon for four, so I want to have a Flying Blocker here. I'm just going to cast this guy. That way I can block the Shark Typhoon, potentially. That's so good! I am so good at this game. Let's go! Thought Erasure time. Let's go. Two to the bottom. That's a sign of weakness right there. Oof. They have to draw a lot of cards off of that Crassus. One, two, three, four, five. Can I handle the... I don't think I can handle the Eugene, though. They have to plus one it. Some juice? I don't know. Uh, two, four. I can hit it for four. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, I can hit it for four. That's going to plus one. Rather just get rid of the Eugene, honestly. I'm gonna pull this into my hand here. So now they crass us. They draw five. Hopefully we just get a thought erasure. The thing is, like, they're running low on cards, and they don't really have a win con anymore. Like, we took away Nissas and stuff. They can casualties, but not that bad. I don't have a basic land for this. Um, could minus two the Eugene, but that seems terrible. I try to go for a Thought Distortion here, but that Crassus has Trample, which is rough. Um, can block it, but it's not good. Five. Nice, yeah, it's a really solid list. Like, I like the idea of it for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and Atris just to see what I can get here. And then I can Yorian and, and just blink everything. Which is kind of cool. So as long as I don't F up on this, I'm fine. Opponent's taking a minute, so there's at least one good card. We just got to find it. You got to really be able to speed through the Atris. Thought Distortion or that. Take that. We'll cash out on this. <laughs> Got team <laughs> or her. <laughs> Woo! What up? It's your boy. It's your boy, Thought Distortion, coming in for the win again. How's it going? Oh, man. Minus four. Can't quite one tap that. Man, that top deck, though. That's strong. It's considered strong. Alright, so I can draw with Omen. Let's see what we get off of Omen real quick. Due to the bottom, come on. Heart of the cards, something good. Nice. 
That's all it takes, man. I'm so good at this game. It's been an unfortunate series of events for the opponent. Just with my top kecking. <laughs> to be fair, they're top decking really well, too. You know what I'm saying? That rage shock. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's even. <laughs> it's definitely top deck wars. They're making it fun. They're down to 17. I can just one tap them with this, I think. And get back a Eugene here. I'm just going to keep the pressure on here. I don't want to do this because I don't have any basics. And then I can just make a Shark Typhoon end of turn, which seems good. I'm not playing Fabled because I have no more basic lands. That, that is why. Um, I think I want both. Yeah. I want both of these. Those are both really hot. And cheers. Thank you, Analog. Thank you for the 12 months, dude. Grats on Mythic there, man. I appreciate the support, man. Um, here. Analog Rebellion just um, subscribed. Colon. Hold on. We are now 66 out of 100 for our sub goal for today. Or not for today, but just for the month. Or just in general. I think we got this. I think, you, I think you're done. I think you'd be done. Don't you dare casualties me. I will be really sad. Hmm. You need at least one blue here. So three, four, five. Go for four. I just want tempo here. I shouldn't have played that. Value! Value town time. Let's go again. Let's do it. But yeah, thank you for the year's worth of support, man. I really appreciate it, dude. Glad you're still around, man. Uh, yeah, we're taking this. Cashing out on this. Oh, yeah. Swing it in for four. Oh, still got 39 cards left. They've got 14. This game's over. <laughs> well, pretty much. They, I guess they could have one last Eugene that would do really well, I guess. But I think they've already played a lot of Eugene. Like, three? If they play four Eugene, like... I guess they can have my ECD. And not win the game. Like, even if they have casualties here, it's like, whatever. You know? Okay, sure. I'm gonna block your land. Block it hard. Like I'm playing for... Playing in the NFL. I'm gonna block it like LeBron. No. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna block that. The Castle Vantress, too. Like... Like, I'm not even gonna scry anymore. This is, this is my last scry. Or at the last scrying. Boom. I know how to click buttons. Alright. Oh yeah. Want that. Take this Castle Vantress from them. Play another Atreus. <laughs> I know Shark Typhoon's one of them, dude. I know about one of those cards. I know this is Shark Typhoon.
Hey, hope you're doing well too, Coffee. I've been trying to stop by Balor Mage here and there, but it's hard to pay attention to Path when I'm not really into the league too much. Okay. They can draw a bunch. They are down to six cards, though. They have to win the game very soon. They could have drawn into casualties as well. Oof, this is a little tough. And what's up, Carva? How are you doing, man? I guess I can just Omen to check it out. Got uni... Oh, yeah, University gotcha. That makes sense. So if they have one more Casualties of War... They, we've exiled how many? Just one... Two? So they definitely have one more left in their deck somewhere. And they have to swing at me. Like, I'm going to see what I draw off of this. I have less than 12 minutes left, so I need to start speeding things up a little here. Um, so I'm going to look for, like, an Eliminate or something for this guy. Oh, both on bottom, draw, hit, thought, erasure. So good at this game. Let's go. There's the casualties right there. They have an extinction event for evens, which means that the... I'll lose my board state, but that's fine. Um, you can just go Shark Typhoon and block with six. It should be okay. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad form because now they can just swing through and then exile if they need to. Uh, we don't really need Thought Distortion, I don't think. Uh, don't really need Simulacrum either. That's what we're looking for right there. Um, I'm going to plus one my own graveyard and I'm going to get rid of um, the Atris. And it's only at least one creature, so... I can just exile those two, that way I gain some life here. I'm not in uh, too much of a rush. And then we can just kind of chill. They can't block Atris, so I just swing through with that. Now they do have a chance to win it here, but it's slim. Okay. So they take a lot of damage there. And I can take 10. then I can just answer the board state if I want to. They're going down to two cards. If I draw into Oath, which they're probably uh, respecting, then they lose as well. This game's so close, man. It's actually crazy. You draw into another casualties? That'd be pretty devastating for my cause. Okay, that's fine. Even. But exiles their own arrow. Or not Uro, but uh, their own Crassus. There's Uro. They're down to one card. I want to see if I can make them draw somehow. Be hilarious. Now they can't even play like Uro. Are they just? <laughs> They're just giving up at this point. I think. You got one card left, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Esper Yorian versus Soltai Ramp.
I feel like that's sort of a very good example of how Esper Yorian can keep up with a ramp deck in some capacity. Um, feel like Thought Distortion is pretty decent in that matchup, and we've got a lot of tools here and there. Um, even with an 80 card deck, we can still see some of our sideboard uh, in crucial moments. Now, the odds will always be, uh, you know, wherever you place it with MTG Arena Assistant, which is a program I like a lot. Um, but that being said, like, it does lower your chances of seeing the sideboard cards, the 80 card Yorian list. So that's something to consider. But uh, that's for another video. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the gameplay, the epic match. And, um, you know, if you guys enjoy this content, there's going to be some end panels. I'll try to have the deck guide linked up to the end panel as well, instead of just the most recent video, which is usually the default. Um, and then if you uh, want to, you can subscribe. That really helps the channel out. Uh, and it keeps letting me grow here so I can keep making content for you guys. Um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below or stop by my stream. And I will see you guys for the next video.